ovunque regna l'amor. I want to find out more about the madams, so I meet two colleagues from a German television who are in Florence for the same purpose. From my investigation back in Benin City, I got the contact of a pimp in Italy from a former victim. Going undercover, we called the supposed madame to get the facts. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, madam. She gets suspicious and denies all our claims. Don't worry, I am. Who is your friend that gave this number? Sorry, eh? Sorry, you say wrong one, okay? Uh, say the month in the land before, okay? I want you to attend to us. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> sorry to bother you. Thank you, ma'am. But that was definitely her. That was her. She's been careful. She's yeah. very careful, huh? but yeah. it's definitely the madam. It's not always uh, inquired for prostitution are connected to trafficking for all day work. We then set out to find a former girlfriend of our informant who still lives near Florence. Trafficking issues. Yes, I, I tried to explain. I cannot prove that here range of trafficking moving girls uh, okay. or something like this. She agrees to give us information about their former madame, but does not want to be filmed. So what did she do to, to you and your two sisters? He said uh, we should work on the road. Sometimes when we don't work, we beat us. Maybe three days we won't give her food. So a lot of things that he is too, he's so wicked, very wicked. And then, how does it work? The girls have to work and give her money? Yes, you have to work and give her money. You can say that you pay them to pay 40,000, 35, maximum 35, 40. And if they can't pay, what does she do? She plant bad things. It will, it will destroy her family and it will make the game mad or it can even get good things of her life. Finally, she shows us the address of a former madame. Six young women, she says, are still being exploited behind these windows. La servetta abbracciata il soldato, il di guerra con la bionda del cuore si spande nel fiamma che se d'amore. Behind these windows should leave the alleged trafficker from Nigeria. A former victim led us to Hiholo, a suburb of Prato, a town outside of Florence. Actually, yeah, maybe we can put it under your white shirt. Yeah, it's going to be under the white. I am equipped with a hidden camera and pretend to be in need of accommodation just to gain access into the apartment. Surprisingly, she lets me in. Good morning. Yeah. How are you? Is Madame around? Yeah. Okay. One young girl, believed to be a victim, leads me directly to the so called Madame. Yeah. 
through several rooms of completely darkened apartments. The voices of young women greet me as I look forward to the next lit room. To gain a confidence and buy some time in our apartment, I offer to bring a female relation to Italy and ask for her guidance. I'm thinking of bringing my sister and my younger sister with me. During our conversation, I realize a suspicion and confront her with the allegation of our informant. I have information that you are into trafficking of young girls. And I don't understand what you are saying. You don't understand what I'm saying. I have information that you have young girls in your house and I've seen them. And since you don't want to cooperate, maybe I'll just go with my information to the relevant authorities. Finally, she agrees to an anonymous interview in a nearby park. Eh? Oh, Meru Owa. Ya swo wa ne ya kole wa. Eh o. Okay na, amana kole. She denies all the allegations but consistently contradicted herself. Okay, those girls in your house, who are they? They're on their rent. They're what? They're, they're renting. renting. Yes. They're, they're renting their house. Yeah. They're renting their house. And why does they have profession? Yeah. But what do they do for, for a living? How do they get the money? I don't know. They go outside to go and look for authority and uh, begging for money. So you don't, you don't know anything about uh, what they do for to get the money? Do but you they do what? Sorority, that is when a porta porta. But madam, when yeah. uh, is it like prostitution? No, Yan, Yan, wait. Mm. When when I first came into your house, you told mm. me they were your daughters. That was for the, that was the first thing you told me. One, yeah, you told me I they think... were your daughters. Now you are saying they are under rent. You told yes. me you didn't have an accommodation. Accommodation, I don't have. Yes, but you didn't. You said those girls were your daughters. Now you are saying they are under rent. So what? Yeah. Should, what should yeah, I believe? Under rent. Me, as a Nigeria, they can be. They can be my daughter. They are under rent. No, 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 this is no, no. the only business you're doing. You're renting out your apartment. How many of them do you have in your house? There are about six. They have, you rent the house. When you rent, when you ask them, they are very concerned. Can we go and talk to them? Yes, you go. But some of them definitely do prostitution. But for you, you are not involved in it. It's just that. They do the prostitution and when you get your money for the rent, it's not your business. Yeah. But you know that some of them have to do it sometimes. Just yes, to... yes. Sometimes they can, they can be receiving call. I will be hearing. So that is it. White guy will be calling them. So that, that is what I know. Okay. Thank you. Hello? While my colleagues continue to question the alleged trafficker, I returned to the apartment to meet the young Nigerian girls. I found six of them. I know. Listen, they sir. Peg. 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 Short in a In a bag. That's all the information I have about you. How long have you been to Italy? Um, it's May. May. How old are you now? May. Uh, this month I was 21. Which, which yeah. year are you born in? 1995. So you came through desert? Oh, yeah. Desert. Desert. Agadez. Yes. Yeah. And Libya. Yeah. You came together? Yeah. You came? Same time? Uh, same. All of them new arrivals from Nigeria, but none is willing to say anything against their madam. After that discovery, we returned to our informant to confirm if the woman we found is the trafficker and the madame who exploited her for years. Yes! Is it the one? Yes! Really? Mm-hmm. So why why were the girls so afraid? Because we, she even let us talk to the girls and they said everything's okay. Why, why would the girls be so afraid to talk to us? Yes, now? because uh, they are afraid because they swear that if they will never tell anybody who put the 
here and then we never tell them tell the police tell anybody who is a madam or is anybody they will never tell them if they ask you just say that they come they ring the ass that's it che vuol dire? PM dottor e forse, forse questa I vuol dire ignoti. We then took our findings to a prosecutor in Florence to know why the courts have failed to condemn anyone over the years, even though she can see from our office the illegal business going on in the streets. Angela Petristi lists the challenges agencies have encountered. Suo connazionale, anche spesso le vittime vengono It's a problem that the victims are scared to go to the police. In addition, there's always this massive communication problem and it's difficult for us to get good translators. After seeing the results of our investigations, she appears impressed and promises to consider the possibility of initiating an investigation into the matter and possibly bring the alleged trafficker to justice. Okay, now. Oh, man, I'll call you.